and we are live. Hey, good morning, 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope you're doing well today. Last night was our second try at a Tuesday night episode. I hope you were to check it out. It's in YouTube, it's in LinkedIn, it's in Facebook. We did a, a live broadcast like we're doing right now. We're trying to do live in Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube at the same time. Try new tech, get it out there. Um, it was an interesting experience. Learned a lot, a lot of little tools in this uh, system that I get used to, but we'll see how that goes. And it um, should be pretty fun. Um, you should be able to comment live on any one of these systems. And I should see them. So we'll see how I get that. Anyway, hey, good morning. 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master Scrum, Master and Agile Coach. And I want to talk about high activity, but low productivity. Where teams do a lot of stories, a lot of small things, but really don't produce the larger items. And that goes with we'll talk about that. There's a lot of things out there. Um, and even teams that do small items and just don't do a lot of stuff anyhow, still don't produce. So we'll talk about those two things. Um, I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, Manager Coach. It's the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show, where we take about 15 minutes or less. We talk about different agile scrum topics to help from a tactical and practical way so that you can deliver value to your customer, not work crazy hours, get home with your family and friends, and enjoy life. And have some fun at the same time. So, Greg, what are you talking about when you say high, high activity, low productivity? I was listening to, again, a couple podcasts and a couple of and I'm just reading 10x, Frank Cardone. It's a good book. It's about doing a lot of work. But the question is, how productive are you doing? You can do a lot of stuff, but is it productive? You have to be careful out there that your team's putting a lot of stories that don't have any business value. Business value really doesn't occur until the client uses the product. So they can be building a lot of stuff, but if the client's not using it, it has no value. I'm sorry. The amount of time you put into something is not value. Okay? Value is the return on your investment. That's that. People get that misunderstood. So be careful that your team's not filling the time. And I said the mindset of filling time. A lot of places think, well, if I don't have a lot of work in my backlog, then I am not doing my job. And that's not true. Your job is to get product to the customer. If your backlog is full of stuff, but you're not delivering to the customer, then you're not doing your job. And Scrum Masters have to be mindful of that and look at higher levels, like between a story, an epic or a feature, whatever you want to call it, and delivering product that's usable by the customer. I'm astonished how many times I see teams say, well, we're not going to deliver a feature for like a quarter. What the heck is that? Right? Uh, maybe it's too complicated. Maybe you break it down. But the idea is you got to break the work down so that it has value to the customer. Building a database is, has value, but not necessarily value to the customer. Maybe the building of a database, yes, it has value, so it's a story. Maybe it's a front end. Maybe there's a combination of the three. But you need all three of them to get out there. So you need to work on all three of them together. Problem is, people think that they need to fill their whole day up with stuff. And that's not true. You need to get the product to the customer. And I'm not going to go in details, but you need to look at, is your team really delivering product to the customer? Or are they just delivering little tiny things that have no product value. We talk about the scrum breaking down things in the smallest possible, but if the smallest possible has no value, then it doesn't matter. And some people might say, well, look at all the stuff I'm doing. Yeah, but none of it's in, in production. None of it's with the customer. Is that have value? I would rather have teams take less items in their backlog 
and get them done and into the customer's hands, whatever they got to do, then take more items so it looks like they're full of stuff. So they increase their velocity based on the number of items they got in the backlog. That's not what you want. Um, in fact, you probably want to take a couple of those items, make them more DevOpish, right? So that they get deployed to the customer and they finish product version. Maybe you up those points. Maybe it's not all one point stories. Maybe it's a three point story. Maybe it's a larger story, but it has completed packets that when you're done, it goes into the customer. Maybe it takes two or three developers and team teammates to come up with that solution. That's what they should be going after. So I just wanted to share that with you. Just be mindful. Is it look like you got hundreds and hundreds of stories, but nothing's getting delivered? And they say, yeah, I'm delivering something. But are they really? I mean, is it really product that the customer can use? Is it busy work? To be honest with you, is it busy work? Or is it transformational? Are we 10xing what we're doing to bring the next level of business to our organization? So that's what I want to share today. Um, last night was fun. We're going to see how this broadcasting live and the, and the different social media works. And um, it's the first time doing it this way. Trying to grow. Yeah, I'm 10 x doing that. that i want to say happy scrumming enjoy your day stay healthy still getting over my cold as you can probably hear the audio it's kind of crunchy voice thing we wish you all the best take care have a great day and see you